So my name is Stu Clark. Uh, I'm a franchise owner with BMF. Um, I've actually worked for BMF before I owned the franchise for, for about a year, just over a year. I've got a fairly diverse background. Um, I, I've worked in finance for nine years uh, before uh, an early midlife crisis and a career change. Ended up working in the fitness industry as a personal trainer and I, I kind of went on the evolution of eventually buying a gym. In, in terms of owning a franchise, I, I was privileged enough to be able to take that leap it gives me the great opportunity of, of having run a business before, but this time being able to do that with a brand presence behind me, which is something that I personally struggled with. Push back, push back. Come on, Mark, let's go, let's go. I really enjoy the, the nature of running a business and being responsible for my own workload. And I think if you look on the flip side of that, I know that sometimes I do need to be managed and pushed as an individual. And the brand of BMF and being associated as a franchise owner, I think it just, it just keeps that eye over me and makes me feel confident that I've got someone that I can turn to if I'm having a bad day personally. And I can ask, you know, I can say, what are other guys doing? How are they bringing in members? Or how are they managing these situations? And that gives me the confidence that if I'm getting something wrong, somebody will be doing that right. And I can probably turn to them and find the answer rather than just being a lone ranger. 10 seconds, Blues! So one of, one of the, probably the most attractive things for me was that I, I really wanted to be able to take on a business or, or build a business that wasn't singular in its ability to earn money. So for example, as a personal trainer, it's fairly competitive and you're very limited in terms of the amount of perhaps money you can earn on a daily basis. And one of the things that I was really focused on was using the BMF brand to, for example, build a multi-revenue income and, and be able to go into schools with, with the, the backing of a brand and, and, a, and a structure and a protocol or be able to offer corporate team building events, so on and so forth. And I think the, the relationship with the military, which I, I personally don't have or, or wouldn't have had without being in BMF, gives you a, a grander opportunity to really appeal to the wider fitness market. Safe landings, good. Come on, Chris, let's go, mate. Push, push, push. BMF have always offered a great community to their members, but now they offer this amazing product where members are supported, they're taking on a journey every session as well as over a period of their membership. They're encouraged to stay. And, you know, that's an exciting thing for me because lots of businesses, particularly boutiques, are trying their hardest to provide, you know, a membership journey and actually that's quite a hard thing to do as a as a small business or, or working on your own and the exciting thing for us I think is that we've got the baseline level of products you know with fitness and military fit and you know our hit products and our cross run product which I love but there's all these other opportunities that being a part of a, a bigger brand offers to you that you, you just wouldn't have access to as an individual on your own push, 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 keep working, faster, five meters, four meters. My, uh, my argument is focus on the things that you know you're good at. And if that is delivering a bloody good quality fitness session in an outdoor environment that members want to come back to, then, then really you're probably 90% of the way there. My advice is to be brave and take that step and, and be, be responsible for your own destiny within the fitness industry.